Hello friends, we're going to read the story, The Day It Rained Hearts, by Felicia Bond. One day it started raining hearts. and Cornelia Augusta caught one. She caught another. And another. It wasn't very hard, so she caught some more. It must be getting close to Valentine's Day, she thought, and she set to work making Valentine's. The hearts she caught would make perfect cards. Cornelia Augusta saw that all of her hearts were different. She looked at each one from the front and the back and the side and decided which ones would be just right for each of her friends. She found seven that were more or less alike and strung them together with a needle and thread. I know just the right person for this one, she thought. Then Cornelia Augusta took an especially handsome heart and pasted it on a piece of paper. In the center of the heart, she glued a cotton ball one that was very light and very soft and she knew instantly who this card would be for. Cornelia Augusta had eight hearts left. On the largest one she drew circles and then very carefully cut them out. The other hearts were so small she arranged them all she arranged all of them on one piece of paper. Around the heart, she painted patterns of many colors, and then she folded her design in half. There was no doubt in her mind who would receive these. Cornelia Augusta put a stamp on each of her valentines and mailed them. It never rained hearts again, not where Cornelia Augusta lived, anyway. So let's see, who got those valentines? A dog got one, the necklace one where she put the hearts together, and the mouse got the one with the holes in it, the circles she cut out. Probably looks like the Swiss cheese right there. And there's the dog, his necklace. But it didn't matter. And there's the one to look like the turtle shell. Because next year, oh, and there's that heart with the cotton ball on it. Looks like the bunny's tail. Because next year and the next and all the years after that, Cornelia Augusta found other ways to make valentines. Now there's hearts on trees. I hope you enjoyed that story about valentines. Have a great day. Bye-bye.